Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews. In this video, I will show you guys how you can downgrade iOS 11 back to iOS 10. So the process is pretty simple. You won't lose any of your data. So you will have still all of your data on your iPhone and you can still go ahead and downgrade from iOS 11 to iOS 10. So you will need to, to download the IPSV. I will leave the link right down below in the description of the video. You can go ahead and download the IPSV file for your device from that website. Of course, you will need to use iTunes to downgrade and you can have back iOS 10 on your device without losing any of your data. So you can see here, I have a few pictures here. I have some music here. So you can see I have these songs right here. I have a few apps here that I have downloaded and when I downgrade my device and I will come back, I will show you guys that I will still have this data on my device, but the device will be downgraded. So the first thing you will need to do is go ahead and open this website, which of course I will leave linked right down below in the description of this video. So from this website, you can download the IPSV file, the iOS 10 IPSV file to which you will downgrade. So here you choose your product. So you choose your iPhone, iPad or iPod touch, and then you will need to choose here the model of your iPhone. So make sure you check which model do you have and then choose that. And then you can choose the version right here. So you will see the green ones are the ones that are being signed. So right now you can downgrade to 10.3.2 or 10.3.1 but probably later 10.3.1 won't be here. It will stop being signed and then just choose one of these and just go ahead and download that IPSV file to your computer and you're good to go. So once you have the IPSV file downloaded, you will need to open iTunes and here's what you need to do. Be very careful here. So you have two buttons here, check for update and restore iPhone. So in order to downgrade, and keep all of your data on your iPhone, what you need to do is hold the shift key on the keyboard on Windows and the option key on Mac. While holding that key, click on check for update. So when you click there, find the IPSV file that you have downloaded, open it, and then it will downgrade your device back to iOS 10 and you will still keep your data. So click update here and now it will start the process so once this is done, I will come back and show you guys that I have downgraded my device back to iOS 10.3 while I 10.3.1 actually, while I still have all of my data on my device. So here it is guys. My iPhone has been downgraded back to iOS 10.3.1 and I still have all of my data. You can see the pictures here. Let's go to the music. You can see the songs that I had on the device when it was on iOS 11, also the apps right there. So you can see here the device is on iOS 10.3.1. So this way you can go ahead and downgrade your device as well. The process is pretty simple. And as I said, you can keep all of your data. So before you start this process, just make sure that you go ahead and back up your device just in case th something goes wrong. So that's it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also, go ahead and follow me on my social media. You will find the links in the description of the video.